What's up guys, in today's video I want to talk about characters with multi gems because a lot of them got buffed, right? You look at Pit who's pretty good now, Kirby's broken, uh, Meta Knight who I think has always been good since Ultimate came out, and Deity who's low-key broken, at least on Wi-Fi. And he's like, wow, these characters are pretty good now and I expect to see them a lot more in tournaments, or at least just casually, you know? And then, <sighs> thankfully for uh, for a lot of people, Banjo didn't get buffed. Imagine how people feel if Banjo got buffed. But yeah, I want to talk about these uh, characters today. You know, if you see, if you used to find Rob, you actually kind of deal with multi jumps already. It's not the same thing, but his upbeat function is very similar to that. But um, yeah. With that said, let's get into it. First, let's talk about the properties of multi jumps. First of all, let me just say right now, multi jumps are busted. Um, so you can um change your direction in the air with multi jumps, which is absurd. Like doing this is absolutely busted. And there's so many creative things you can do with that as a result. Um, that's one factor of them. Now, multi-jumps, you actually can't mash them out. Like, you can always do, like, full up and the double jump quickly, like, with any character. But every jump afterwards has a bit of delay. And you can act immediately out of them with anything you want besides another jump. But this means you can't, like, get maxed out immediately. It also means you can chase that multi-jumps pretty aggressively if someone's spamming them to escape disadvantage or anything. And they also can't just, like, reach max height immediately and chase you from anywhere freely. They still can pretty easily abuse advantage states, but not that free. And then each jump gets lower in height. So, like, say, like, my first jump is so much lower than my last jump. And this actually can be sometimes a strength, but it's generally a a weakness of the multi-jumps. And, uh, yeah. And now let's talk about how you can use these jumps to advantage. Because, you know, I feel like it's probably a lot of intuition, but not necessarily things people will actively think about. So, I think the biggest thing, I think I made a video about landing mix before. If not, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video about that. But you can use them as another layer of mix-ups when it comes to landing, right? Like, you can always mix up, like, spacing, like, timing a fast fall versus not a fast fall, multi-hits versus not, cross-ups, if you're gonna air dodge, all these things, right? And now multi-jumps an extra layer. Now, of not only do I have to choose, like, a fast fall or not, say, I burn my double jump when I'm landing, because that's generally a very good option in this game is to just double jump at disadvantage. I can now choose to still have these jumps left and have only mix-ups except go, when they want time, they want time it after my second multi jump or my last one. Am I gonna fast fall and then jump and cancel the fast fall? Am I just gonna commit to the fast fall? You know, am I gonna jump to a platform? And like, you get so many mix ups. And whenever you play these characters, really ask yourself, you know, how many jumps I used last time, how much I used this time. Because I think it's one of those things that even if people don't actively think about, people kind of intuitively, subconsciously think about when they're playing as or against characters with multiple jumps is how off, how long are they in the air. And taking advantage of this is a huge, huge thing. Another great thing you do with multi-jumps is think of the entire stage as just your playground. No matter where you are, as long as you have multi-jumps, you can pretty much get anywhere, right? Really easily. And it's kind of busted, actually, that, like, let's say I'm playing a character, and they're really bad at ledge pressure. Pretty much from anywhere in the stage, I can get to a ledge somewhere freely. Not even counting different characters' individual tools. It's pretty much easy to get to a ledge from anywhere in the stage with these characters. Or, let's say, you know, if a character struggles with dealing with plaf um, pressuring platforms, same thing. I'll just go to whatever platform I can get to. It's hard to chase me. And even if someone tries to chase me aggressively, because I have multiple jumps, it's very easy to change my momentum mid-air multiple times and get away from the situation if someone even slightly little bit overextends, gives away the plan a little bit early, commits a little bit early, it's really ridiculous. So, when you're at disadvantage with these characters, at least in terms of getting to a ledge or a platform, it's pretty easy and hard to punish. And I think I briefly mentioned this, but you can also use multi-jumps kind of to just get out of situations where normally a character has to double jump and have no resources left. For multi-jump characters, they do that double jump and they still have resources left, right? Like, let's say you're fighting... I don't know, he's Foxy for something like up tilt, up air, dash attacks, whatever. And you have to choose generally with a character to either take the mix up of mashing an attack versus air dodging, or you just jump away. Don't take the mix up, you have no landing options left. Multi jump characters say, yeah, I'm gonna jump away, because that's generally the best option to escape the immediate pressure, except I still have the multi jumps left. So that's no longer a resource I have to be afraid of burning. Huge, huge, huge deal. And honestly, it's something that is very easy to learn to kind of lean on as a crutch when you're playing these characters because it's so darn effective 
And then when you actually do decide to take the mix up of 50 50s with like air dodges versus attacks, a lot of times people aren't ready for it, so you can catch them off guard, but actually just not spamming jump at a disadvantage. And then when you have multi jump characters, you can kind of abuse like preventing people from going to certain places. Like, I don't want you at this platform, you can't go there. Oh, you want to go here instead? You can't go there. You have Sage, I want to cover this area off Sage. You can't go there then for like three, four seconds at a time. Let me just count actually. So yeah, about four seconds or so, I'm able to cover kind of this off stage area while also still going to react to whatever people are doing. So, like, you can checkmate people really easily off stage or even in the air with this. You know, you can frame trap people as well. Like, I do like this. Let's say they want to like fast flare dodge or something. It's so easy to cover that. And even if I miss that, they don't fast flare dodge for some reason. Let's just say. I can just stay in the air for as long as I want. And, like, kind of just cover this area. Even if I miss my attacks, because of the multi-jumps, I don't really lose positioning in the air. I can just kind of cover that position still. And it just becomes so easy to chase people from any position in the game with these types of characters. Which can also lead to really grimy kills, honestly. When you're, like, you're hovering in the air for so long. And like, you hit someone up like near the top of the stage. Not even including the fact you get extra height with these jumps. You know, it's a little bit slow. To like hit people really high up really easily. So yeah, that's just busted. Um, I think in order to fight these types of characters, you want to generally not burn your double jump and kind of take the mix-ups even more so than versus regular characters. Because you really want to be put in situations where you're really high up in the air and dying off the top at absurd percents because they can chase you very easily. And of course, if you're playing these characters, you want to put people high up in the air and kind of, I don't want to say cheese them out, but put them in really easy to kill situations where they're really high up and then you can like frame trap the air dodge if they choose to, and it just becomes a mess. Now, with that said, what's the weakness of multi-jumps? They seem kind of busted, right? You know, the weakness was a lot of the characters' multi-jumps weren't particularly good, um, and they got buffed now. And the only weakness of multi-jumps is a lot of players tend to kind of rely on them if they play characters using multi-jumps, and you can call them out. You can kind of read players burning multi-jumps kind of carelessly, and a lot of times these characters, if they run out multi-jumps, they're screwed. Low air speed, maybe not the best hitboxes, whatever it is. They tend to be really in bad spots. And how do you take advantage of this? How do you burn their multi-jumps? I think the best way generally is to pressure them aggressively. You throw them in the air. And instead of trying to catch their landings with like dash attacks, up smashes, up tilts, uh, projectiles, that's not going to work. There's too many mix-ups to catch their landings easily and see outplay them hard. But what does work is kind of overextending and chasing them aggressively for multi-jumping. Calling out the multi-jumps. Putting on a lot of pressure on them. Like, all that stuff. Like, you want to really put the pedal to the middle and oppress them so they force their multi-jumps and you can hit them at the multi-jumps and really put them in bad spots. Because if someone's off stage and they have like one jump left and it's like a tiny jump, that's not going to help that much. Or if they're landing and they have one tiny jump left, it's going to help them, but it's not going to be enough to evade like a cloud up bearing right on top of the opponent using his double jump. And yeah, I just want to make a video talking about multi-jumps today, nothing too crazy. Hope this was informative for you guys, and um... If you have ideas for more videos, let me know. I'm always trying to think of new videos for this kind of stuff. I'm going to try to get back on the video making grind soon, maybe, hopefully. We'll see. Peace.